Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create your own custom view of folders for your Outlook mailbox. For instance, if you wanted to see who had sent public task requests in a public tasks folder, you could add the sent field to the table view of the tasks in that public folder if you're the folder owner. To create a view for a folder, you would select View from the menu bar, Arrange by, Current view for the selected folder, and then choose Define views from the side menu that appears. In the dialog box that appears, you can create a new view and set any additional options that you would like for your view to have. To create a new view, just click New to the right of the Custom View Organizer dialog box. That will then open up the Create a New View dialog box, and here you type a name for your new view into the Name text box. Below that, you select what type of view you want to create. You could choose Table View, which lays out the information in a table like the Inbox folder does by default. A Timeline View, which shows items in a Timeline View like the Journal folder does by default. The Card View, which lays out information in an Address Card View like the Contacts folder does by default. Day, Week, Month View, which shows information in a Day, Week, Month style like the Calendar does by default. Or Icon, which shows icons for the items like your typical Windows folders do by default. So once you've selected the type of view, select who will have this view available to them in the Can Be Used On section. It could be this folder, but visible to everyone, this folder, visible only to me, or one that's available to all mail and post folders. Then click OK to launch the Customize View dialog box where we can customize the view. The Customize View dialog box has seven buttons available in the 2003 version. Although, depending on the type of view that you're selecting, not every single one of these options is necessarily available. Clicking the Fields button launches the Show Fields dialog box. Here you can use the drop-down at the top to select how many lines you would like to see in a multi-line mode. Below that, you can choose to select from a set of available fields, like frequently used fields, address fields, date-time fields, post fields, and so you select your category of fields. That then decides what fields show up in the available fields list. To add a field from the available fields to your particular custom view, select the field you would like to add, and then click the Add button to add it to the Show These Fields in This Order list at the right. You can then select it once it's there and reorganize its position by clicking the field name and then clicking the move up or move down buttons right below the show fields in this order. Click OK when you're done adding fields to your view. In the Customize View dialog box, clicking the Group By button launches the Group By dialog box and here you have to uncheck Automatically Group according to arrangement to manually select your grouping. You would then use the Group Items By drop-down to select a field by which you can group the items in your view. And this is usually only used for a table-style view as it will group same values in the selected fields into expandable, collapsible sections within your view. You can select up to four fields by which to group. By however you're going to group it, you can choose ascending or descending order, A to Z or 1 to 10 for ascending, Z to A, 10 to 1 for descending. Also, if you want to ensure that you can show the field in the view, you should check that checkbox. Then click OK to apply any grouping if desired. Clicking the Sort button launches the Sort text box, and here you can use the drop-downs available under the Sort Items By and Then By sections to indicate by which fields you wish to short sort the view.
You can also choose ascending and descending order, and you can sort by up to four different fields. And then click OK to set the sorting for your view, and return to the customized view. It also says that if you choose to sort by a view that's not shown in a table column, do you want to show it? You can say yes or no. It is possible to sort by a field that you're not actually displaying. Clicking the filter button launches the filter dialog box. This dialog box consists of four tabs, messages, more choices, advanced, and SQL. You click on the tab by which you want to set criteria that will include or exclude certain items in your view. So for example, if I wanted to filter messages that were displayed in this view by who they were from, I could click From on the Messages tab and select the names of the items, the users, by whom I would like to filter. And then I would click OK. I could also go to More Choices, and I could filter by Categories, or Item Statuses, or the Advanced tab, where you can filter by almost any field value, which you could click on Fields and choose the field name, and then select a condition, like it contains, is, doesn't contain, is empty or is not empty, and if you say contains or is, you would have to type in a value to the right of that. So you can set any filtering options that you would like, and when you're done, simply click OK. Clicking the Other Settings button launches the Other Settings dialog box, and here you can adjust the font display for the items in your view. And this will change depending on the style of view you're trying to create. Make any adjustments that you wish here, like the column font, the row font, grid lines and group headings, whether or not you want the reading pane available, do you want to show a quick flag column, and any other options. When you're ready, just simply click OK. Clicking the Automatic Formatting button launches the Automatic Formatting dialog box. And here you can set a new mailbox rule that would apply a default formatting to items that meet a given criteria. There are some rules already in place in this dialog box, and you can certainly add more. To add a new rule, you would click the Add button at the right side of the dialog box, and it adds a new rule to the list. You would type a name for the rule into the Name text box down below. You can then click the Font button below that to specify the font formatting that the item should use when the condition that you're about to specify is met. And then click OK. You can then click the Condition button to set up the filter that, when met, applies to the formatting you selected. And then click OK to apply the filter on which, when met, will apply the font in the automatic formatting dialog box. Also notice that if you had a particular rule that you didn't want to apply, you could select it and simply click Delete to the right, except for the default rules. The rules that were there when you first opened the folder are not allowed to be deleted. And then you would simply click OK after applying automatic formatting. Now, if you're using a table view in Outlook 2003, you can also click the Format Columns button to specify a display format for each field that you have in your view. You would just select the name of the field whose display you wish to modify from the Available Fields list at the left side of the dialog box. And then to the right, you could change its settings at the right side, such as its format, its label, its alignment of its text, for example. And when you've finished changing the display of the columns in your view, you can then click OK to return to the Customized View dialog box. Now, when you're satisfied with the view settings, click OK in the Customized View dialog box to return to the Custom View Organizer. 
You'll now see your view listed in the list of views available in the dialog box. To apply your view, select the name of your view in the list and then click the Apply View button at the bottom of the Custom View Organizer. Also, in the future, your new view will be listed in the side menu that appears when you select View, Arrange By, Current View from the menu bar. If you need to delete or edit your view, you can always return to it by choosing Define Views instead from the same selection route, choosing your custom view, and then modifying it by clicking the Modify button at the right, or deleting it by simply clicking Delete to the right, and then clicking OK. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.